Shanaim, Shevet Achim, Gam Yachad. Hine Matovu Manaim, Shevet Achim, Gam Yachad. Hine Matov, Shevet Achim, Gam Yachad. Hine Matov, Shevet Achim, Gam Yachad. Hine matovu manayim, shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matovu manayim, shevet achim gam yachad. Welcome everybody to our service to a Shabbat morning where we all get to be together in prayer and celebration. We also get the honor, what we call the Sukhut, of uh, walking Gerald Kogan uh, into this very special place, the place of becoming a bar mitzvah, uh, which is happening uh, as we speak. So we're looking forward to being able to celebrate with all of you, with all family, with all the people who are in the room, and we'll continue to fill in the room, all those who will be uh, or with us already online and will continue to join us in our virtual community. Um, a couple notes, um, and you could maybe pass this along in whispers uh, to people as they come in. I'll try to say uh, a similar note later on in the service. Number one, uh, you'll need a, a blue book. This is our prayer book. We'll be using this for most of the service. You will also need a large... <clears throat> Nope, I don't know. Red book. You all have, the, many of you have this. Someone hold up the red book above their head. There you go. Uh, a red book, that is our chumash. That is the text in which uh, um, Gerald is going to be reading from, from our sacred scroll, scroll, and you'll be able to follow along the teaching that is for today. Um, we also uh, would ask that if you have a cell phone, uh, just make sure it's off. Make sure it's on silent. And I would really encourage you, and I know this is hard, I am tapping into one of the deepest addictions that we have as a civilization, to really not use it at all. Uh, we are here to be with Gerald, and I have good news. He's here. He's right there. I can see him. It's not a hologram. He's not on Snapchat. He is right here. So what I want you to do is to be present for him, for us. And so, do your best to refrain from using your phone, even during the, the reception, right? Even during the, the lunch. Please be here in, you know, look across the table and decide to communicate with someone there rather than someone miles and miles away. So I appreciate you, uh, you living with that. Final note, uh, as you can see, there are a lot of chairs. We expect them to be filled uh, throughout the service. So if you're on an edge and you really need to be on the, uh, the aisle, make sure that you're, uh, you're welcoming to those who are coming towards you. Invite them in, stand up, let them in. If you're able, if you see one seat open next to you, maybe move over and, uh, and free up a seat um, so, for others. I think that's it. Let's get started. Page 61. Um, we're honored to have Jordan Foreman leading us for the service today. Page 61, Mode Ani. Mode Ani Lefanecha Melecha
bottom of page 61, Ma Tovu. Ma Tovu, oh Halecha Yaakov, Mishkinot Echa Yisrael. Ma Tovu, oh Halecha Yaakov, we now continue on page 65 as Gerald gets off to an early start here. He will help us with Birchot Shakar. Please rise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan al yishechi bina lechim beyonu velayla. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, sheyasani ben samo. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, sheyasani Yisrael. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, sheyasani ben chorin. Amen. Baruch atah Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Utnenu Hayom of Ehoyom, Lehenu de Hesiv Rahamim, the Enehak Venekor Enu, the Tikalenu Hazadim Tovim, Bakruka Town, I go Melasadim Tovim, Lambo Israel. Amen. Please be seated. We'll now continue with a, a rabbinic text. Let's uh, read from the top of page 68 together in the English. Once Rabban Yochanan ben Zakai was walking with his disciple, Rabbi Yehoshua near Jerusalem after the destruction of the temple. Rabbi Yehoshua looked at the temple ruins and said, Alas Last for us, the, the place that atones for the sin of the people of Israel, Israel through the ritual of animal sacrifice, sacrifice lies in ruins. The Rabbi, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai spoke to him these words of comfort. Be not, Be not grieved, my son. son. There is, is another, another equally meritorious way to gain atonement, even though the temple is destroyed. destroyed. We can, we can still, still gain atonement, atonement through deeds of love and kindness, and kindness for it is written, love and kindness I desire, not sacrifices. Ba take, oh, sorry. Bottom of page 70. Yehi ratzo, milfanachan anai lohen velohei, avotenu shetitein achelken abetorah techab, b'niyem itamita av shel aharon hakohein, oheim shalom rodev shalom, oheidev et havriyo oramekor ban latorah. I invite those who are in mourning or observing a yurt site to rise in their space and enable their voices so that we could share in the call and response of Kaddish to Rabbanon, page 71. Yit gadal v'yit gadash shemei rabah. Amen. Be'alma divra kirute v'yamlich malchute b'chayachon v'yomechon u'v'chaye d'chol b'yit Yisrael ba'agala u'v'izman kari v'yimru. Amen. Yeheshme Raba Mevorach Leolam Ume Omaya Yiparach Vishtabach Vipaar Viet Romam Viet Nase Vietadar Vietale Vietalal Shme de Kudisha Brihu La Ela Minko Birchata Vishirata Tush Bechata Venechamata Da Amiran Beoma Vimru Amen Al Yisrael Val Rabanan Val Talmi Dehon we are kol talmidei talmidehon. We are kol man de askin be oraita. Di va atra hadain ve di bechol atar ve atar. Yehe lahon achon shlama raba. China ve chista ve rachamin ve chayin arichin u mezona ravicha. 
Ulfurkanan min kadam avuhon divishmaya v'imru. Amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya v'chaim tovim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Ose shalom bimramav hu brachamav yase shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Page eighty one. <laughs> I invite those who are mourning or observing your site to rise in their space, enable their voices so that we can share in the call and response of the mourners, Kaddish. Page 82. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shemerabha be'alma divra kirute v'yamlich malchute. Bechayechon of Yomechon, Uvchae de Hol Beit Yisrael, Baagala, Uvizman Kari, Vimru, Amen. Yeheshme Rabba Mavorach, Leolam, Lameo Maya. Yiparach, Vietabach, Vietpaar, Vietramam, Vietnase, Vietadar, Vietale, Vietalal, Shme de Kudisha, Rehu, Leela Minko, Birchata, Vishirata, Tush bechata v'nechemata da amiran be'alma v'imru. Amen. Yehe shlama raba min shamaya v'chaim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Ose shalom b'imromav hu ya'ase shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. I invite everybody to join our mourners as to stand in place as we turn to page 83 as Gerald will lead us in Baruch Shemar. Baruch Shemar Vaya Olam Baruch Baruch Ose Vereshi Baruch Omer Veyose Baruch Gozer Uv Baruch Merachem Al Haret Baruch Baruch Mishalem Sachar Tov Baruch Chayla Am Vekayam Lanetzah Baruch Podeu Matzio Baruch Shemo Baruch Adonai Melech Alamam Baruch Adonai Melech Alamam Shema 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 Yahihe Olami, Melek Meshiva Uber Ar Ade Ashmo Hagado, Baruch Atanai Melkula Batish Bacho. Amen. Please be seated. We will continue with the Psalm for Shabbat, page 94. Nizmor Shir the Yom Ha Shabbat. I invite Gerald Kogan back up to the Bima. He's gonna get his he's gonna get his steps in today for sure. Uh, as he's gonna lead us in the Ashray, page ninety-six. Ashreyosh vevetecha, odia hallelujah stella. Ashreyam shikach halo, ashreyam shadonai elohav. Teilare ravid, aramim kalhai hamelech, vavarashim halo olam va... Bechoyam avar chekta valalashim halo olam vaed. Ador naim lameod, udila toin heker. Dor ledor shabach masecha, ugurotecha yagidu. Adar kevod odecha, vivrei venotecha asicha. Vezuz nanotecha yomeru, udulacha asaprena. Zecher rav tufaya biu, vesich racha yerneinu. Chanum racham adonai, erech apay mudol chased. Tov adonai lako, verachaman alko masav. Yoduch adonai kom. 
Komasecha, Vachasidecha, Yevarchucha, Kilvo Makutayo Meru, Bruata Yadaberu, Leo Dielime had Ambrota, the vote had Armachuta, Mahucha Mahuro Amim, Mem Shatecha, the Hodor of Ador, so make her another con of me, as a cake the Kolak for Fihim, Ene Koranesa Yeshaberu, Tano Tenahemet, the Grambi to, Potea Ketia Decha, the Maspila Hokarazo, Sadika Nabeko Derha, the Sikh were home. Hallelujah. <laughs> We continue on page 100 with Psalms 149 and 150. Hallelujah. 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 Rome mod e hel di grona ham chera di bia hote yadam la asun kam la begoyim ke he chod ba hal umim la asun le he sor ma chem bezikim min ich brechen hem bekam le ebarze el la sop em ich pak katub adar hulo chok hasita hab alleluia allelu 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 ya allelu Hallelujah, 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 betil to the true up, call on Shama, hallelujah, 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 Baruch Adonai Elohim Elohe Yisrael O Sinif La'ot Le'vado'o Baruch Shem Kuro Le'olam Nimalech Kuro Ekol Ha'aretz Amen V'Amen Please rise and return to page 102. Ba'yosh Ha'na Ba'yama Ho'et Yom Ezra Amir Ezra 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 by our Israel at Ayad, Hagola, Asher, Asa, Adonai, Ben, Mitzrayim, by your who ham at Adonai, by Aminu, Adonai, Moshe, Avdo, Az Yashir Moshe, Ubene, Israel, Et Ashir Hazul, Adonai, by your rule, Amor, Ashir Adonai, Kigao, Sus <laughs> 
Adonai Hamelukam service we begin to transition we transition from our warm-up like any good practice you need to stretch and so this was our stretch and now we make our way into the prayers that matter the prayers in which we stand before God the prayers in which we open up our soul and our hearts and we ask God for that which is what we need the need to wake up each morning with strength with confidence and with hope we turn to Nishmat Kol Chai page 104 as we begin that transition into our Shacharit service Nishamata Kohai to Vareka Chimkarana Yohinu Nishamata Kohai to Vareka Chimkarana Yohinu Ruach of a sort of fetter memo Yanu Madalo Yesham Yutin Male Shirata the <laughs> <laughs> Me in Melahu, me is Felahu, me a rock lah. A lagadoli Borbahanora el Elion, Tone Shama in Barrets, Neal el Khan Shabe Kahab, Unfa el Kamarikachim Kotchahab. Come more than the I don't know where prayers go. Or what they do. Do cats pray when they sleep? Half asleep in the sun? Does an opossum pray as it crosses the street? Better. The sunflower, the old oak, growing older each year. I know I can walk through the world along the shores and under the trees with my mind filled with things of little, little importance in full attendance a condition I can't really call being alive. Is a prayer a gift? Is it a petition? Or does it matter? The sunflower ablaze, maybe that's its way. Maybe the cats are sound asleep, maybe not. While I was thinking about this, I happened to be standing just outside my door with my notebook in my hand, which is the way I begin every morning, and then, a wren in its privet began to sing. It was positively drenched, drenched in enthusiasm. I don't know why, and yet, why not? I wouldn't persuade you from whatever you believe or whatever you don't. That's your business. But I thought of the wren singing. What could this be if it isn't a prayer? So I just listened with my pen in the air. The words of Mary Oliver. Shochen Ad, middle 105. <laughs> 
Please rise as Gerald leads us in Yishtabach, page 106. You may be seated as we continue in the middle of page 107. Ein Ya la 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 la
Shamayim, <laughs> Um barchim um shabachim um farim um aritzim um akdishim um amlichim et shem ha'el ha'melech ha'gadol ha'gibor ve'hanora kadoshum v'chulam mekablim alem um achut shmaim zemizeb v'not mim reshut zelazeb l'akdish yotram benachat ruach v'safav ruach v'nim akedoshah Kulam kecharoni im yom rim be yihir ab. Kadosh, 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 Adonai tevaot. Velo chol ha'aret kevodo. Veha opanim v'chayot ha'kodesh. Mera ashkelo minasim li umat serafim. Li umatam meshabachim yom rim. Baruch kevod Adonai im kom. We gather our seats here as we prepare for the Shema, page 111. Mm-hmm. May our back and foot heart with all the pain come me yot come me yot lay our second ki el ko el yeshu odata ubanu bacharta mi kolam belashon the kirav tanu the shim hagadol. Sela Femet Lehodo Lecha Ule Yachelcha U Yachelcha Biyahava Baruch Ata Adonai Abokher Biyamo Yisrael Biyahava Shema
We continue at the top of page 113 as we hold our seat seat and Gerald will lead us in the final paragraph of the Shema. Ritomoto, Uspartem, and Comins vote at a night, the Asitemotam, the Lotatu, Akare, I shall say to you, Ham, Eretz means right. You don't know Ham and Oni. I need I don't know Ham. 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 And shut up, what an eye, yellow, he knew, little hang of a tain, Malakin, Malak, a botain, go on, lane, go on, a botain, you train it for your shoe, a tain, go in a matinu, melam shemaha, in a low, he mezulata, page one fourteen. Is right, a botain. We continue with the uh, Amidah beginning aloud, pages 115b and 116 with the Kedusha, and then silently pages 117 through 120, but we begin at 115b. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Eloheinu Avoteinu Elohei Abraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Elohei Sarah Elohei Rivka Elohei Rachel Elohei Leah Ahel Agadol Agibor Vehanora Hail Elyon, go male chasadim tovim, the kone ha kol, the zoche chaste avot, who may be go elly, maybe they ham, the manchimo be a hava, melech ozero foke, the moshia umagin, barochata adonai, magin abraham, who foke zarab, atagi borel amadonai, Nechaye meti matarav le hoshia, mashiv ha ruach, marid ha gashem, mechakel chayim bechesed, mechaye meti merachem imrabim, so mech noflim berofe echolim, umatir asurim, umekahaye emunato. 
Shalom bim Roma, Uya se shalom aleinu, ve alko Israel, ve alko Yisraelel, ve imru, imru, amen. Shalom Aleinu Ve'al ko Yisrael Ve'al ko Yoshrei Tehlel Ve'imru Amen Please remain standing as Gerald leads us in Kaddish Shalem, page 138. Kadavi Kadash Meraba, the Amladi Rav Yosef Rami Malchute, the Chayachonium, the Chonu Chaye Bechobe Israel, Magalami Mankarim, Imru Amen, the Heshme Rabbi Mebarak, the Lamba, the Barak, the Shabbat, the Arbit Ramavi, Nasevi, Kadavi, Kaleli, Kalash, Mekrishabri, Leilami Kobeva Tavashir, Tatush, the Hata Venechimata, Dami Ram, the Amavi, Imru Amen. Tikavel v'son Yisrael chom di v'avigim kim v'ishmai v'Israel kadam avu chod di v'ishmai v'imru amen. Hey shalom rabba mishmaya v'chayim aleni b'akoy Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom v'imru mam hu ya se shalom aleni b'akoy Yisrael v'imru amen. Please be seated. First of all, Yashar Koach to Gerald, and he's really doing beautiful, not only getting his steps, but really getting his prayer on, so this is really wonderful. Um, we are going to be beginning our Torah study, uh, Torah service in here. Torah study, if you'd like to join uh, Marty Cohen, he's going to be down in the Cavalier Room. You just follow your way through the lobby, down the museum hallway, and then there's a, a glass conference room. You'll go in there, and that, you can enjoy that experience. That'll be about an hour, and then you could be back in here. In here, though, we have the honor to be able to study our Torah through the reading of our sacred text, which Gerald will be doing uh, quite a bit of, along with family. Uh, right now, I would like to invite Gerald up to the Ark, along with Mom and Dad, Sarah and Ross, with grandparents, Jeff and Naomi and Marty and Judy, uh, to take their places on either side of the Ark, as we will in be inviting a godmother, um, Debbie Glidden, to offer a English reading. Ready by Stacy Zizuk Robinson. There is a rising expectancy, a hold your breath, gathering in at the edge that drops away 10,000 feet and 10,000 more. A moment, just that one, that separates you from everything else. You hold yourself so still, so poised. There's a heartbeat's difference between waiting and ready. A heartbeat, a moment, the distance between breaths. You have walked the 10,000 steps and 10,000 more, an eternity of steps to cross that narrow distance, to stand in hushed in rising expectancy. To leap into that moment, to complete that breath, to bridge the distance between waiting and God. 
to stand in grace, in quiet stillness, in breathless wonder on the other side of waiting. And you gather in those tethers that have shackled you. You gather them and let them fall, cracked and dusty and rusted through. A breath, a heartbeat, a moment that stretches into the rest of forever, and then some. And then you leap, ready. In Kamokaba Elohim, Adonai, the Enekim, Asaka, Malkutecha, Malkut, Kolo Lamim, Umem Shalteka, Behotor, Abador, Adonai, Melech, Adonai, Malak, Adonai, Yimlok, the Alam Boed, Adonai, Ozliamo Yitain. Adonai Yivarechet Amo Vashalom Avarach Aramim Etiv Aviritzanecha Et Zion Tidet Tomot Yerushalayim Tibenecha Omot Yerushalayim Ki becha levabatam nu, melech el rameni isa adon olamim. Byehi bin so harona byomer Moshe kuma adonai veyafutsu oyevecha. Beyanusu Besanecha Mi Panecha Ki Mitzion Tetze Torah Ki Mitzion Tetze Torah Udevar Adonai Mi Yerushalayim Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Liamo Yisrael Mikidu Shatakso We are the people of the word, and the breath of the word fills our minds with lights. We are a people of the word, and the breath of life sings through us, playing on the pipes of our bones and the strings of our sinews. An ancient song carved in, the, in Luratian granite as new as the spring azure butterfly just drying her wings in a moment's splash of sun. We must live the word and make it real. We are the people of the book, and the letters march busy as ants, uh, carrying the works of the ages through our minds. We are the people of the book. Through fire and mud and dust, we have borne our scrolls tenderly as a baby swaddled in a blanket traveling with the word sewn in our clothing and carried on our backs. Let us take up the scroll of the Torah and dance with it and touch it and read it out, for the mind touches the words and makes it light. So does light enter us and we shine. Amen. Anna Imara Tush Pekan, Be Anna Rahets, Be Anna Rahets, Belish Me Kadisha, Kadisha Yakira, Anna Imara Tush Pekan, Yahira Kodama. Our Torah is holy, the strongest symbol of God's presence among us. As grandparents pass this sacred scroll through their arms, 
Jeff and Naomi, Marty and Judy, as it passes through their shoulders and their soul to parents, Sarah and Ross, and then eventually into the arms of Gerald Cogan. May they all feel a sense of God's loving presence. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadoshimo Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadoshimo Gadol Adonai Iti Unerahamma Shimo Yachtab Lecha Adonai Hagedurula Lehagevura Lehatiferet Lehaneitzah Lehahod Ki Chob HaShamayim Uvaretz Ki Chob HaShamayim Uvaretz Lecha Adonai Amam Lachab Ve'amit nasei lechol erosh Rommemu, Rommemu Adonai Eloheinu Ve'ishtachavu, Ve'ishtachavu La'adom erad la'kadoshu Rommemu, Rommemu Adonai Eloheinu Ve'ishtachavu Ve'ishtachavu Le'har Kodesha Ki'gadosh Adonai Eloheinu Please be seated. We're going to be on page 351 for today's reading. We're reading from Parshat Vayera. Uh, this is the, uh, the second parshiot in the book of Exodus. We are in the heat of the story. We are in that space where the plagues are about to come down onto Egypt. And Pharaoh has a decision. He has a decision to make. What are his values and his priorities? Now, there's a lot to talk about, and we will have a chance to talk about this particular story in depth, but we all live in a, in a life. Thank goodness, not a life like Pharaoh, not a life filled with evil and malice intent, but we all have choices that come our way. And the question is, how do we make those decisions? What values do we put forward? Did Pharaoh put the, the will of the people or the, the needs of the people of Egypt first? Did he think about how he was oppressing another people? Or did he just think about his own power, his own standing? Heaven for fame, being told that there is a being greater than him, that being God. Think about the, not, the narcissism that a person has to live with to want to engage in that fight. But here he is. Think about our own life. Think about the choices we make and how we put our values forward. What leads us to act. Is it truly the ethics and the values we've been raised? Or is our fear, our ego, what makes us do and live the life that we live? That's the story that's being called out for us today. That's the story that Gerald will be sharing with us in his reading, page 351, as we begin our Torah service. And quickly, we want to thank our Torah readers in advance, all of whom amazingly share the same last name. Uh, Gerald Kogan, Marty Kogan, Ross Kogan, Marion Kogan, and Sarah Kogan, thank you all. The Azor, the Agamir Shilo Kolokosim Bovino Maramim, Hakol Avu Godel Lelo Henu Kabot, La Torab, Kohena Kerab, Yamdu Shragamelak Ben Yosef Ha Kohen, Vietova Bat Gershom Ben Davi, Lalia Kohen, Baroksha Tanturali Moisrael Bik Du Chateau, the Tema Vikimano Echem, Chaim Kohem Hayom.
Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMavarach Baruch Adonai Baruch Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Baruch Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bacha Banu Mikol Amim V'natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Vadaber Elohim, El Moshe Vayomer Elav, Ani Adonai, Da Eira, Elvarham, El Yitzhak, El Yaakov, El Shaddai Ushmi, Adonai, Lo no Dati Lahem, Begam Akimoti, Ebri Ti, Itam Lantet Lahem, Erez Kenan, Erez Megurahem, Asher Garuva, Begam Et Shema, Ti Enaka, Bene Israel, Asher Mitzvahim, Avidi. Itam bears core every tea. Baruch Atar Nai, Eloheinu Melech Alam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Temet, Vaye Alam Notab Betochenu, Baruch Atar Nai, Noten Torah. Amen. Yam do, Moshe ben Mordechai, Kohen v'yehudi, v'yat Leora Michal, bat Yitzchak, l'aliyah sheni. And the second Torah reading can be found in chapter 6, verse 6, page 738. Page 352. That was close. Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Amen. Lachen a more Ibne Israel. Ani Adonai, the Hotse T. Echem, Mitaka, Sivlo, meets Ryan, the Hitsau T. Echem, Mavid. Yatem, we got out to ye, hem, bees row out net to yow, who be shvatim, gedolim, la carti, erhem, li, le im, the haiti, la hem, le lohim, via datam, he ani, adonai, elohem, hamotzi, erhem, mitaha, sivlo, meets rhyme, the heave tea, erhem, El Aarez Asher Nasati Et Yadi Late Ata Le Abraham Le Isaac Ule Yaakov Natati Eta Lachem Morasha Ani Aranai Vera Beber Moshe Ken Al Bene Israel Velo Sham U Al Moshe Mikoser Ruach Ume Aboda Kasha Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher natan lanu Torah temet, v'chaye olam natah b'tochenu, Baruch atah Adonai, notein ha-Torah. Amen. Yamdu, Mordechai ben Moshe HaKohen v'chava, v'yat Yehudi bat Yosef, v'yat Chava Sara bat Moshe HaKohen, v'yat Leia bat Yosef bat Moshe HaKohen, l'aliyah shlishi. We're on verse 10 on page 353. 353 in the large red humashim, page 353. We ready, go, Judy? Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Baruch Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Baruch Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bachar Bano Mikol Hamim. Benatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai. No Tain Hatorah. Amen. Amen. Bear Adonai, El Moshe Le Mohor, Bo Oda Bear, El Pro Melech Mitzrayim. Whom I've lost with Shikha, Esh Pene Israel, Mayat Sohor, Yeda Bear, Moshe, Lef Ne Adonai, Le Mohor, Hain, Bene Israel, Mu, 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 Mu,
Yidaber Arano El Moshe, Via Acharon, Via Zaveno Bene Israel, Via Perom, Melech Mitzrayim, Lohotzi et Bene Israel, Meeres Mitzrayim. Let's stumble through that one. Boruch Ata Arano Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet. Bahaye Olam no Tabitu Hainu, Baruch Ata Adonai no Tain Hatorah. Amen. Yam do, Rich Ben Rich Vishurli, Vier Adina Bachanan and Nechama, Vier Mordechai Ben Abraham David, Vier Aliza Rina Bachanan and Nechama, Lalia, Rivi E. The fourth Torah reading can be found at chapter 6, verse 14 on page 354 in your Chumashim. Baruch Hashem, 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 Baruch Hanochu fluach erzon vacharmi, ele mishpacha ruven, vene shimon, yimuel veamin vachar vechem vetzachar, shau benekranit, ele mishpacha da shimon, vele shimon bene levito, dotam gershon, the kahat morish nechaye levi sheva ushloshim, umeahat shena bene gershon, leave nevi shimi, mishpachatam, Nekahat Amram and Zahir, Hevron, Vuziel, Shenechaye, Kahat, Shlosh, Shloshim, Umeat, Shana, Lenemore, Michle, Moshi, Ela, Mishpahad, Alevi, Letodotam. Amen. Yamdu Hanan ben Bero viet nechama bat Shmuel laliach hamishi. The fifth Torah reading is found at chapter six, verse twenty, on page three fifty-five. Baruch et Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Barach leilam ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach leilam ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher b'achar b'anu mikol amim v'natan l'anu et torato baruch atah adonoi notein hatorah. Amen. Amen. Vaikach amram et yochad v'jolato lo lisha v'telad lo et toron v'et moshe u'shenei chayei amram sheva u'shoshim u'mat shana u'nei atzar karach v'nefeg v'zakri u'nei a'itzel mishel v'altzofan Vesatri, Vaikah Aron, et Elisheva, Bejamina Dav, Achot Nachshon Lolisha, Vatele Lo, et Nadav et Avihu, et Elizar, et Itamar, Une Korah, Asil Rokanave, Aviasaf, Ela Mishpahota Karhi, Velizar Ben Aron, Lakah Lo, Mivna, Putiel Lolisha, Vatele Lo, et Pinkas. Amen. Yam do, Mayor Ben Eliyahu, yet Yonatan Ben Mayor, Laliash Lishi. Our sixth Torah reading can be found in chapter 6, verse 26, page 355. And those of you in the front row that know this reading from listening to the practicer, feel free to join in. Baruch Adonai Amorach Olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Amorach Olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Amin. Venatan Lanu Etoto. Amen. Amen. 
Hu Aron Umoshe Asher Amar Adonai Lahem Hotzi you at B'nai Yisrael Me'eretz Mitzrayim Al Tzivotam Heim Hamedabrim El Paro Me'eretz Mitzrayim Lehotzi at B'nai Yisrael Mi Mitzrayim Hu Moshe V'yaharon Vayehi Biyom Diber Adonai Al Moshe Be'eretz Mitzrayim as Gerald picks up the reading, the seventh Torah reading can be found at chapter 6. Verse 29, and that's on page 356 in the Chumash. <laughs> Adaber Elhim El Moshe Lemor Ani Adonai Dover El Paro Melech Mitzrayim Et Ko Asher Ani Dover Elecha Vayomer Moshe Livne Adonai Hen Ani Aral Shefatayim Ve'ek Yishma'e Elai Paro Vayomer Adonai El Moshe Re'eh Nataticha Elohim Le Paro Ve'aharon Achicha Yeye Neviecha Atatad Aber El Ko Asher Al Zaveka Ve'aharon Achicha Yedaber El Paro Ve'shilach Et B'nai Israel Me'artso Ve'ani Akshe Et Lev Paro Ve'ki Beti Yititai Et Movtai Be'eretz Mitzrayim Ve'lo Yishma Elechem Paro Ve'natati Et Yadi Ve'mitzrayim Ve'hotzeti Et Zivotai Ami B'nai Israel Me'artsi Me'eretz Mitzrayim Vishvatim Gedolim Ve'aru Mitzrayim Ki Ani Adonai Mitzrayim Et Yadi Al Mitzrayim Ve'hotzeti Et B'nai Israel Mitocham Vayas Moshe Ve'aron Ka'asher Siva Adonai Otam Ken Asu Moshe Ben Shmonim Shana Ve'aron Ben Shlosh Ben Shmonim Shana Be'debram El Paro Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lani Tarat Emet Vechayei Olam Nata Betochinu Baruch Atah Adonai Nuten HaTorah Amen Please rise for Chatzik Kaddish. Yitgada al yitgada shemei rabam Yalmadi rakiru tevi amlik malchute Vechayei chon yom echon Vechayei nechon ben Yisrael Ba'agala ba'agala Uvizman kari vimeru amin Yehei shmei rabam mevorach Please be seated. The Machir can be found at chapter 7, verse 5, on page 356 in the Chumash. Page 357. Ya Amad Bar Mitzvah, Yosef Ben Ram Hakohe in Chazak, Chazak, Chazak. Baruch Adonai Hamborah. 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 Ba
Ahmed, Baruch Atanai, Elohim Melch, Alam, Asher, Bacharbanu, Miko, Amin, Venatan, Lanu, Etoroto, Baruch Atanai, Notena Torah. Amen. Ver U, Mitzvahim, Kiani, Adonai. Mit Binto T, Et Yadi, Al Mitzvahim, Vehose T, Et Bene Israel, Mitocha. By us, Moshe, Veharon, Kaasher, Siva, Adonai, Otam Kenasu, Moshe, Ben Shmonim Shana, Veharon, Ben Shloshu Shmonim Shana, Vedavram, El Paro, Baruch Atanai, El Hainu Mel Chalam, Asher Natana, Nutura, Emet, Vechaye, Olam, Natan, Betochenu, Baruch Atanai, Notena Tura. Gerald sandwich. All right. <laughs> Come on over. <clears throat> it's now the time where I get to offer a blessing to you, Gerald, and to your family. Our Torah, God's Torah, this Eitz Chaim, this tree of life that has sustained us for millennia, must be replanted in every generation. Taught, tended, loved, cultivated deep in the fertile soil of our souls, so that righteousness and mercy will take root in our hearts and bear fruit in our deeds. God of wisdom, a source of wonder, let my teaching today become another seed of your word, bearing blessing for your people, bringing light into this world in service to your holy name. So I invite your parents to repeat after me. Now we have two blessings. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech haolam. Eloheinu melech haolam. Shepetaranu. Shepetaranu. Meon show. Meon show. Shelze. Shelze. Then we offer the shechianu. Baruch ata Adonai. Baruch ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech haolam. Eloheinu melech haolam. Shechianu. Shechianu. Vikiyamanu. Lazman. Blessed is God, praised is the one who has brought us to this time when our child assumes the obligation of mitzvot. I should go after you all. Please rise as the Sefer Torah is lifted from the table. Vezo ta Torah, Masher Samoshe, Leaf Nebene Yisroel, Apiadonai, Biad Moshe, Ki Hem Chayenu, Viorach Yaminu, Uba Hem Nege Yomam, Alayla, you can put that on you. Ki Hem Chayenu, Viorach Yaminu, Ubahem nege yom ambala ayla ki em kayenu ti orach yamenu Ubahem nege yom ambala ayla ki em kayenu ti orach yamenu Ubahem nege yom ambala ayla Please be seated so now, my friends, we get to not only hear uh, the prophetic words from our prophets, uh, as Gerald will chant for us the Haftorah, you'll find that on page... page yeah. Page 370. So please join us at page 370. Again, still in your red Chumashim. Now, um, there's a part after the Haftorah, and you'll, you'll know kind of intuitively when to do it, when there, you'll be able to throw candy. Now, you might be wondering, Rabbi, I didn't bring candy. Well, you do not need to worry. We've taken care of that. But here's the challenge. Here's the challenge. There's a thing called a wrapper, and it's going to make you sound like this. So, Gerald, let me ask you a question. Would you like everybody to be doing this the entire time you're doing the Haftorah, or would you like people to be very quiet while you're doing the Haftorah? He wants quiet. So if you wouldn't mind keeping it quiet when you get it, just put the candy down. 
you'll have an opportunity to really use it as we will share our love uh, for Gerald and all the incredible work he's done. Gerald's going to begin our Haftorah at page 370 um, as he chants the Torah for us. Baruch Atah Arunai Elheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Bimbiim Tovim Ratsa Edibrahim Anemarim Be'emeh Baruch Atah Arunai Habocher Batura Umoshe Abdo Israel, Amo, Vivie, Haeme, Vased, Co Amar, Adonai, Elhim, Vicapsi, Ebe Israel, Mean, I mean, I share not for Suvam, Munikashi, Vam, Vene, Agoim, Viashvu. Aramatam, I share not Tati, Le Abdi, Le Yaakov, the Ashvu, Ele Halaveta, Uvanu, Batim, Venat, U Kramim, the Ashvu, Laveta, the Ashoti, Shefotim, the Ko Hasatim. Otam means we votam the yard u ki ani adona ohem mashana asiri the asiri the shim ashar la kodesh haya devar adona elai le mor ben adam sim panecha. Al Paro, Melek Mitzrayim, Bikin Ve Alive, Ve Al Mitzrayim, Kular, Daber, Ve Marta, Ko Amar, Adonai, Elhim, Hineni Alecha, Paro, Melek Mitzrayim, Ve Haitanim, Gado, Harovez, Batok, Yorev, Amar li ye ori vani asitini Venatati hachim il hayeha the hu beti de gat ye oreha because kesoteha the alitah me tok ye orech the e kodega ye oreha because kesoteha teed bag venak dash diha Hamid bara o chave e kodega yorecha al pene asade deep hole li te asev velo tikabets le chaya ha arets ule of hashemaim venakdash ticha le ochla ve adu ku yoshve mitzrayim. Ki ani Adonai ya an heyotam mishene kane lave Israel etov sam bechav akav teiros ukata lahem kokatev uchishtenam aleha tishaver haamardatam lahem komot naim. Lachen ko amar Adonai Elhim hineni mevi alai harev vehichati mimeh Adam uvhema vaita are eretz mitzrayim lishmama lechorava viadu ki ani Adonai. Ya'an Amar Ye'or Li Ve'ani Asiti Lachen Hineni Elecha Ve'el Ye'orecha Ve'natati E'eretz Mitzrayim Lechuravo Horev Shmama Mimi Gadol Sivene Ve'ad Gevol Kush Lo tavor ba 
Regel Adam, Regel Behema, Lotav or Ba, Belote Shev, Arbaim Shana, Natati, Eretz, Mitzvahim, Shmama, Betoch, Aratzot, Nishmo, Bearea, Betoch, Arim, Mihorabo, Tiena, Shmama, Arbaim Shana, Mehafotzi, Et Mitzrayim, Magoim, Beziritim, Bearatzot, Ki, Go Amar, Adonai Ohim, Miket, Arbaim Shana, Akabet, Mitzrayim, Min Hamin, Asher Nafotzu Shama, Vishavti, Eshevu Mitzrayim, Behishveti Otam Eretz Paros Eretz Mikuratam Behayu Sam O Vishram O Mamlacha Shifala Mi Hamamlacho Tia Shifala Veloti Nase Or Agoim Vihim Achitim Levileti redot gabagoyim Velo ye ye o lave Israel lim vetav miskir avon bif notam acharehem veyar u kiani adonai alohim ye ye be Askrim, Basheva, Shana, Be Raishon, Be Achar, the Hodesh, Haya, Dvar Adonai, Ela Lemor, Ben Adam, Nebukarets are Melech Bavel, the Havid, Echelo, Avoda, Edola, Ensor, Korosh, Mukra, the Kokate. Muratah, the Ashkar, and Hayalo, Ulehelo, Mitsor, El Haboda, Asher Avad Alea, Rachen, Ko Amar, Adonai, Elhim, Hinanino Ten, the Bukaretzer, Melek Babel, Eretz Mitzraim, Menasa. Hamona, Vishalal, Shlala, Uviza, Biza, Vaita, Shahar, Ulechelo, Pueleto, Asher Avad, Ba, Natati, Lo, Eertz Mizraim, Asher, Aso, Li, Neum, Adonai Elhi, Bayom, Hahu, Ads me a Karen, the Vey Israel, Ulecha, et in Papiko, he, Betoham, the Ar Ukiani, Adonai, Baruch, Ata, Adonai, or Henisur, Koalamim, Sadibiko Adoro, Hael, Haneman, Ha Omer, by Osef, who make Hayem, she could ever arrive, and met God said, Neman, Atu Adonai, or Henu. Ve inim devarav ve davar et midbecha achor lo yoshu vrekaki el melech neeman rachaman ata baruch atadonai baruch hu baruch shema el haneman bako devarav amen rachem al siyon ki ho be chayenu ule aluva nefesh tishia bim herav ve amim. Be Baruch Ata Adonai. Baruch Baruch Shema. Nesame Aksion Bin Vane. Amen. Sham Reinu Adonai O Henu Beliahu Anavin. Abdecha Umecha. Beit David Mishia. Bim Herayavo. Veagile Beinu. Alkison Lo Yesher Zar. Velo Yim Chelo Od Harem. Ekevodo Kibisha Ketshem Nishbatalo. Shalayim Be Narole Olamba Ed. 
Baruch Ata Adonai. Baruch Baruch Shema. Magen David. Amen. Al Torah ve'al v'dav ve'al kin v'im ve'al yom hashvah hazeh. Shnatan lanu Adonai ohenu li'dusha ulem menucha li'kevod ve'li'evrechted. Al hakol Adonai ohenu and li'im u'me'ahim otcha yidberek shimcha b'fikochai. Tami leolam ba'er Baruch Ata Adonai Baruch Baruch Shema Mekadesh HaShavah Amen Have water Simen Tov Mazel Tov Mazel Tov Simen Tov Simen Tov Mazel Tov Mazel Tov Simen Tov Simen Tov Mazel Tov Mazel Tov Simen Tov Yeah Hey Lord Yeah Hey Lord Hey Lord Israel, yeah, hey, Lan, yeah, hey, Lan, oh, Israel, yeah, hey, Lan, yeah, hey, Lan, oh, Israel, yeah, hey, Lan, yeah, hey, Lan, oh, Israel. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Oh, there's something wrong with the list. That was absolutely the quickest candy cleanup I've ever seen. That is unbelievable. The carpet's never been this clean before. Like, it's, they just went through it. My friends, the, the pillars of a becoming a bar mitzvah are one leading the community in spiritual practice. You have seen Gerald do this beautifully all morning. Prayer, ritual reading, haftorah, just beautiful. Another is in changing and repairing the world. You will hear about that in his Devar Torah, and also you know about the incredible things he's already done at this young age. But the third pillar is teaching. It is something that a bar mitzvah and a bat mitzvah are required to do now. They take their wisdom and it's no longer just theirs. They must give it to the world. It becomes yours. It becomes ours as we share it. And so Gerald is going to share with you wisdom that he has found from today's reading. <clears throat> Shabbat shalom. As I studied my Torah portion, I kept coming back to the same thought. What happened to the everyday Egyptian people who were impacted by the plagues. The plagues were necessary to free the Jewish slaves, and while the plagues were effective, they impacted every person who was living in Egypt. To me, this is our Torah reminding us that even as society makes great improvements, there are people who may be impacted or left behind. Our covenant with Hashem is to make the world a more perfect place. But my parsha also reminds me to think of those who are struggling or maybe got left behind despite society's best intentions. To paraphrase several great leaders and authors, the greatness of a person or a nation is how it treats its most vulnerable citizens. When I have driven through downtown Atlanta, I have noticed people in streets, in tents, in some open areas. These are the signs of the modern plague of homelessness. Although homelessness has been around for centuries, in the last few decades, has become a worldwide epidemic. Without a home, without shelter, life loses much of its security, hope, and joy. As we progress, we must try to always make everybody feel included because we want everybody to feel a sense of security and safety as opposed to feeling threatened. Thinking about this, I wanted to make part of the work I did for my bar mitzvah project to address the plague of homelessness. The organization that I'm working with is Creating Connected Communities, also known as CCC. CCC helps people in need who are living in homeless shelters by bringing joy to kids and taking the burden off parents' backs for a little. Unfortunately, CCC cannot stop homelessness. But what CCC does is help connect kids in underserved communities with programs that provide support and joy. CCC teaches Jewish high school students to be leaders 
and helpers through his leadership development program, in which my sister Marion participates, and I plan to as well. CCC also organizes several festivals throughout the year, as well as Amy's Holiday Party, which is an event held in December. Amy's Holiday Party is a Christmas party for underprivileged children and their parents. At the party, the children get presents, they have a meal, and get to have an amazing time while the parents can relax. For my project, I held a fundraiser to collect money to buy the sports balls for the CCC Fall Festival and for the scooters at Amy's Holiday Party. The Fall Festival is an event run by the CCC with the PAL, Police Athletic League. The PAL program helps children in dangerous neighborhoods stay out of trouble and to not fear the police. PAL does this by allowing the kids to go to the gym and play sports with the other kids while the police officers can act as their coaches. Sports has been a big part of my life and has played a major role in helping me grow into being a young adult. My, this is why I decided to dedicate my Bar Mitzvah project to helping create a positive sport experience for the kids using the CCC program. With the assistance of my parents, family, and friends, we raised money, bought all of the soccer balls, basketballs, and footballs so that each child could take home a ball from the fall festival. One child said to me, I've never had my own ball. This is so exciting. We also took some of the money that we raised and bought scooters for Amy's holiday party. Scooters are the most highly cherished toys at Amy's holiday party. And one of the best parts about this, and this is a shameless plug I learned from my parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles, you get the point. One of the best parts is that everybody can volunteer and donate. <laughs> you can simply just go straight into the CCC website and register and then boom, you're in. As I said, my family and friends have been a major influence on me and I wouldn't be here standing before you without the help of many many people. Learning my portion in service, well, it wasn't easy. I want to thank David Frankel, my tutor, Rabbi Rosenthal, Jordan Foreman, my uncle Mark for helping me write this speech, the amazing teachers at the Epstein School gave me all the knowledge and foundation to learn this, our family often talks about family who are like friends and friends who are like family. So, I want to thank all of my friends who are part of this weekend with me, Thank you for coming to celebrate with me. Life is better when you have good friends that take the ride with you. To my aunts and uncles, Dina and Rich, Lizzie and Mike, Lori and Michael, you have always cared for me like another child. I want to say thank you because I know that is a blessing. To my grandparents, Nana Jay, you are one of the most honest, genuine people I know. You've taken me to so many nice restaurants and taught me so many things. <laughs> Zakes, every time we hang out, I feel like I learn more and more from you. I love golfing with you, and you've made me a much better person. Nene, I love sitting by the beach with you. I love sitting by the beach with you in Gloucester and talking about life. You make our family trips to Boston such a treasure. Peepa, from taking drives around the town to teaching us how the beach was formed, you're always one of the most nice and fun people I know. I love you all. To my siblings, Marion, although I may be your annoying little brother, you've always given me advice, protected me, loved me, and looked after me. And for that, you are the best big sister I could ask for. Mo, from spending hours on the PlayStation with me to you giving me stitches, you will always be my best friend and dumb and dumber. Freddie, your energy can make everybody in the room light up. You are my little sister, the sunshine. You've always been there to help me when I'm sad. I try to do the same for you. I love you all. Mommy, you've always been my number one fan. Without you, my life would be impossible. From literally getting a bill signed for kids with hearing loss to supplying for my basic needs each and every day. Words cannot describe how much you love me and care for me. I love you. Daddy, you taught me everything I know, from all the sports I played, to 
to basic things like tying my shoes or learning how to read. But in the end, we're both boys, and thanks for teaching me how to laugh at myself. <laughs> my great-grandfather, Gerald Cohen, used to tell our family, it doesn't have to be this good. We are very lucky, and that means we should do what we can to take care of the world and people around us in our family, community, and beyond. We, as a people, and I, now as a bar mitzvah, should look at this as an opportunity to do something that can help the world. As our Talmud teaches us, one who has saved a life as though they have saved the entire world. I hope that I can continue to pursue the acts of Tikkun Olam, making the world a better place now and in the future. Shabbat Shalom. We have a few uh, presentations we'd like to give uh, to you this morning. Um, if if a representative from Sisterhood is here, not sure if they're here. Okay, we will get them. We will get them later. Later. I want to invite our synagogue past president, and also happens to be Uncle uh, Uncle Mark, to offer a few words. Um, on behalf of the congregation, and also be, on behalf of his love for you. Stand right here. Stand right here. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Gerald, when I look out at the congregation, I see our family, your friends, your community, and your classmates. We gathered here to witness your rite of passage into adulthood. As the past president of this synagogue, and more importantly, as your great uncle, I'm afforded the honor of speaking to you on behalf of the synagogue. I can recall your birth your baby naming, and other stages of development. Today marks another big milestone. We just witnessed the results of your hard work and preparation. We witnessed an incredibly competent young man ready to assume his Jewish adult identity. In your Devar Torah, you focused on the importance, really, of empathy and compassion unique characteristics of being human. You pose the question, what did the average Egyptian experience during the plagues? How do we make sure that the forgotten, lowly Egyptians of our modern society are not ignored? You carried this message by taking it upon yourself to do your part in making the world a little brighter for the kids that are far less fortunate. As you pointed out, your great, great, your grandfather Gerald, is Gerald Cohen, who you were named in memory of. He never missed an opportunity to point out that we demonstrate our appreciation for what we have by happily taking on the obligations to reach back and help those in our community that are, that are still struggling. In your own way, you adopted that attitude to your bar mitzvah project, being, bringing joy into the life and of those that are less fortunate, a fitting note coming from your namesake. In the service, we prayed in the name of our ancestors your identity to this point has been formed by the values of your ancestors, your parents, your family, your school community. Now you personally shoulder more of that responsibility. Sarah and Ross, aside from your own successes, your greatest accomplishments are your children. Gerald demonstrated that he is one of the best. 
Gerald, to be Jewish is to do Jewish. Much of what you do, from attending the Epstein School to participating in the weekly family gatherings on Shabbat, reinforces your Jewish connection. Continue on. Carry it proudly into the next generation. May you remember this day so that your children and your children's children will remember the experience of their Jewish commitment. To that end, the synagogue is giving you a Kiddush cup to be used every Friday night and on other various joyous occasions in your life. It will remind you of this day. From now on, your people consider you an adult with all the privileges and the responsibilities that that implies. Congratulations and mazel tov to you, to your parents, and to the entire family and the entire community that had the honor of being here and witnessing your transition. Now I want to invite up your parents to offer a few words. Before we uh, get going, Gerald, take a moment. Look around. Look around. You, actually, you can look around. <laughs> See everybody. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate it now. Eyes on us. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, when you were born, we were in the hospital. Sarah looked at me at one point and said, you know, I grew up with all sisters. What am I in for with having a boy? <laughs> Boys can't be that different from girls, right? <laughs> I paused, I, I looked at her and I asked, how many steps up our back staircase in our house do you think I can jump off and land on one of the kitchen stools without <laughs> falling over? <laughs> she looked at me and she said, what? I said, how many stairs? Up our back staircase, do you think I can jump off, land on a kitchen stool without falling over? She said, you're insane. Why are you asking me that? I said, I've thought about it. The boy in your arms right now, he's going to try it. <laughs> and Gerald, you've been bringing us excitement ever since. Gerald, shortly after you were born, we learned that you had hearing loss. But your commitment to working through this challenge has been a model and an inspiration. When we were lobbying to change the laws in Georgia to make hearing aids accessible for all children, you were a critical part of the effort because of you and the incredible strides that you made with hearing and talking at a very young age. I can still see you on the floor of the Capitol proudly saying the Pledge of Allegiance. You were beaming with pride and looking at me and then maturely talking with all the senators and representatives, helping to advocate for other kids not as fortunate as you. This care and concern for others has served you well as you've continued to grow and mature. And as you've grown, you've shown an incredible curiosity and desire to understand how things around you work. A trait that makes us smile and think comes at least some from your great-grandfather, whom you were named after, Gerald Cohen. You've always loved building things and taking them apart, and building them, taking them apart. But whether it's sports, technology, business, investing, your desire to know how things work, why things are how they are, is an amazing spark of curiosity that you will only continue to build. Feed this curiosity and hunger and amaze the world in what you can grow into. And when, can we please talk about you and babies? <laughs> Your warmth and care towards babies and children is always awe-inspiring and noticed by all. Keep this in your heart. It will serve you well in any and all aspects of your life. As you finalize your service and this phase, take a moment to appreciate. That there was a time when no one knew if you'd be able to speak and pray as you have today that you have a heart and a spirit that wants to love and give. 
We have a mind that is open and curious and a willingness to jump off and try and do and learn new things. That you, with your gifts, your soul, your warmth, your curiosity, are just now reaching up to new heights, a new step of the staircase that you can jump <laughs> off to. <laughs> oh my God, you rewrote it. <laughs> to, to greater adventure. Oh my God, I feel like I'm on Saturday Live. <laughs> to greater adventures, growth, success, and love in all aspects of your life. We love you. We love you. We're proud of you. And are proud of you each and every, every day. day. And also, also for, for this, this incredible, incredible milestone. milestone. Love you. So much. Love you. So much. I see everything. Uh, Gerald, so I get to say uh, a few words to you just to end before we pick up our Torah and continue with our service. Um, so I have, I have some interesting connections with your family. It was your Uncle, uncle Mark who uh, convinced me to come here and got me here uh, when, I was, uh, when I was first uh, applying. He was uh, my first president uh, in the congregation. I've, I've had this uh, really, really special relationship with your, with your family uh, for all those years. Your mom decided to tell me across a parking lot, announce that she was pregnant with number four by yelling out, Rabbi, we're crazy too. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, because of the connection of us having four kids and you uh, also being one of four. Uh, so I've, I've always had that very, very special place. And so there's always a, been a synchronicity, I feel, between my family and yours. And there's something like that as well going on right here. Now you can imagine with a family that's been part of this congregation for so long, when you walk down the museum hallway and you go by the wall of presidents and all their faces, so many look like you because they're all related to you. <laughs> Uncles, great uncles, uh, just, uh, you know, your grandfather is on that wall. And so there's something really special. And you would say, well, if it's so special, why? Why aren't we doing this celebration? Why are we doing it in a multi-purpose room? Why are we doing it here? Why don't we do it in one of the sacred spaces of this building? And the answer is, which you all will see if you don't know yet, is that the celebration will be in the midst of construction. And you'll be able to peer in and look at what is going on. And the synchronicity, the spiritual connection to that is that your grandfather, Gerald, was one of the people who built this very building. Can you imagine him walking around this place in a hard hat because of just all what was going on in this place? And here you are celebrating, celebrating in the midst of another transformation. As your parents said, you are transforming into a bar mitzvah while this sacred space transforms. Your grandfather's memory, your grandfather and grandmother Helen's, their, their memory, their spirit is here today. Not just because they walk these halls, but because these halls continue to grow and live and evolve just like you, just like your family. The words you shared today, and I'm going to share later in my sermon, the words you shared today speak to a depth, a depth of who you are. I have the incredible honor of working with all of our bar and bat mitzvah students on their speech, on their Devar Torah. And I have to tell you, I don't do that because I love editing papers. I don't. I'm dyslexic. It is painful for me to edit a paper. But I do it because I learn so much about each person. I learn about where they are in English class. I learned, that was, a, that was funny, that was funny. <laughs> I learn about their, their hobbies, their interests. I learn about their connections with their family. I learn a lot about people's families through working with kids on their, on their bar mitzvah speech. And sometimes I learn about the depth of somebody's soul. And working with you on your paper, it just hit me, hit me like a truck right away. And you shared it today, the depth of your soul, the depth of your consciousness, the depth of how much you care for other people. You didn't just share your words like they were written on a page. It was clear in the way you shared it that you were passionate about those issues. It is clear that you care about the suffering of other people. I can't tell you how many times I've watched a beggar in the street walk by and people ignore them like they are invisible. And you gave them voice today. You reminded people 
that there are other people with hopes and dreams that are being crushed underfoot. You reminded us of that. You shared it. Use your voice, Gerald. In the same way that the other Gerald used his voice and his opportunity and his incredible luck, as you said, to be so fortunate in life, he used it to make the world a better place. Continue to use your voice in that same way. And it won't just be that the spirits of our loved ones continue to live with us. Their life will have mattered and their deeds will continue to live. And so may it be for you. I would like to offer you the priestly blessing, but I do recognize that with your family, I'm the wrong person to be offering this blessing. So I'd like to ask all the Cohens and Cogans, the Cohens of our congregation to rise and join with me the words of the priestly blessing. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha, may God guard you and keep you. Ya'er Adonai panav alecha v'yehuneka, may God show his face to you and be gracious to you. Yisa Adonai panav alecha v'yasem lecha shalom. May God give you the greatest gift, the gift of peace. And let us all say, Amen. You may be seated as we now will turn back into our prayer books uh, and be offering the words for the new month that is coming, uh, the words of Birkot HaChodesh. I'll ask you please to rise as our Sefer Torah is lifted off of the reading table. Um, is Michael Goodman here? Michael has the honor to hold the Torah. Michael, Michael. Oh, here he comes. Page 150 in the blue prayer books, 150. Adonai Eloheinu Behelo <laughs> Arukim Chaim shel shalom Chaim shel tovah Chaim shel bracha Chaim shel parnasa Chaim Shalhilutsatsamo <laughs> Chayim shetehevanu Abatorah virat shamayim Chayim shimalu mishalot libenu letovab Amen selab Mishasanisim La avote inu, the galotame adulehe root, we galotanu, be caro, be carpets, nidahenu, me arba. Confort our hearts. 
may our back and foot harass. Chaverim, call Yisrael. Then Omar, Amen. Towards the bottom of page 150. Rosh Chodesh Shevat, Yeb Yom Hashini Habab, Aleinu Yalko Yisrael Letovab. Rosh Chodesh Shevat, Yeb Yom Hashini Habab, Aleinu Yalko Yisrael Letovab. The new month of Shevat will begin Sunday night, continuing through to Monday. May it hold blessings for us and all the people of Israel. Yechad Shev HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Aleinu v'yakol amo v'yisrael L'chayim u'shalom Amen L'sasson u'simcha Amen L'yishua u'nechama v'nomar Amen As the Sefer Torah is placed on the reading table, I invite you to please take your seats. As we have the honor of co-president of Sisterhood, Brooke Rosenthal, to offer a, a quick word blessing to Gerald on this occasion of his bar mitzvah. It's been beautiful to watch you grow up since you were just a little baby and you did so well today and we're all really proud of you. And as co-president of Sisterhood, I would like to um, mention uh, what you've already received, which is a tree planted in Israel in your name and a tzedakah box that has a little motif of Jerusalem on it. So please go visit your tree and support Israel. And um, always give tzedakah, which I know you do. I know it's a, a part of your family's heritage to do so. Mazel tov. Now, Gerald will lead us in the ashray, page 151. Ashe Am Hallelujah. <laughs> For a blessing for this, this country and for the state of Israel, I want to invite up Marilyn and Elliot Goodman, a great aunt and uncle, and also Jenny Goodman and Josh Hodge. Uh, to recite the prayer for the United States on page 148. I'd also like to invite up to recite the prayer for Israel, uh, Alyssa Goodman and Michael uh, Etchenwald, uh, and also our ARC openers to stand by the ARC waiting for it to be opened, Robin uh, Edwards, Dave uh, Edwards, Lauren and uh, Estrin, and Andy Deutsch, all cousins. Please come forward. Uh, if you're doing reading, come on over here. Our God and God of our ancestors, we ask your blessings for our country, for its government, for its leaders and advisors, and for all who exercise just and rightful authority. 
Teach them, Teach the them insights, insights from your, from your Torah, Torah, that they, that they may administer all affairs of state, state fairly, that, that peace and security, happiness and prosperity, justice and freedom may forever, may forever abide in our midst. Creator of all flesh, bless all the inhabitants of our country with your spirit. May citizens of all races and creeds forge a common bond in true harmony to banish hatred and bigotry and to safeguard the ideals and free institutions that are the pride and glory of our country. May this land, under your providence, be an influence for good throughout the world, uniting all people in peace and freedom, helping them to fulfill the vision of your prophet. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they experience war anymore. And let us say, Amen. Avinu Sheba Shamaim, Sur Yisrael Vigawalla, Baharech, Baharech, Medinati Yisrael, Rishit Smichat Kiyurula Tinu, Hagin Aleha, the Emirat Hastecha, Ufros Aleha Sukat Shelomecha. Ushlach or Chaba Midhal Roshehab, Sare Havio at Sehab, the top name Beta Tova, Milfaneha, Hazek, Hazek, at your day begin a eret, Kodshenu, the Ankin Lebelorenu, Yeshua, Bater and Itzahon, the Atarayman Shalom ba'aretz v'simchat olam le'yosh ve'hab avinu avinu sheba shamayim avinu sheba shamayim rock and redeemer of the people Israel. Bless the state of Israel with its promise of redemption. Shield it with your love. Spread over it the shelter of your peace. Guide its leaders and advisors with your light and your truth. Help them with your good counsel. Strengthen the hands of those who defend our holy land. Deliver them. Crown their efforts with triumph. Bless the land with peace and its inhabitants with lasting joy. And let us say, Amen. And as Gerald takes the Torah, he will start making the hakafah, his uh, circuit around the room. As the ark is open, page 153, returning the Sefer Torah to the ark. Yeah, hallelujah, shem Adonai, kiniska av shemo levado, hodo al eretz v'shamayim, Bayarem keren le'amo, Tehila lechol chasidav, Libne Yisrael am kirobo, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Mi's more the David, Habu ladonai b'nei elim, Habu ladonai kabod ba'oz, Abu Ladonai Kibochimo, Ishtah Abu Ladonai, Padra Kodesh, Kol Adonai Al Hamayim, Elachabod Hirim, Adonai Al Mayim Rabim, Kol Adonai Bakoa, Kol Adonai Beradar, Kol Adonai Shover Razim. By a shaber at the Honai, at Arze Havanon, by Arki name Kimawegel, Lebanon Vesirion, Kimo Ben Rahim, Kol Adonai, Kotze Lavoderesh, Kol Adonai, Yahil Mi Bar, Yahil Adonai, Mi Bar Kadesh, Kol Adonai, Yeholel Ayalot. By a Kesop Yaro, to a Kalo, Kulo Meher Kavod, Adon Naila Mabul, Yashab, Bayeshev Adonai, Malek the Olam, Adonai Oz, the Amoitain, 
Adonai Yivarech Et Ammo Vashalom Ubenucho Yom Ki lekach tov natati lachem Torati al ta'azovu Eitz ha'ayim ehi Lama chazikim ba'am V'tom echea Me'ushar Terachea As the ark is closed, you may be seated. We are going to offer a Misha Berach, a prayer for healing. Uh, if you uh, are comfortable and online putting a name into the chat box, please do so. Uh, those of us in this room, we will slowly go around the room and I invite you to stand and recite the name out loud of somebody that you hold in your hearts for healing at this time. Misha Berach, Avatena, Abraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Serif, Karach, Avaleya, Hu, Yivarech, Vira, Pe, Eta, Cholim, O God who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel, send your blessings to all who are ill. Have mercy on them and graciously restore their, uh, their health and strength. Grant them a refuah shlema, complete recovery. May healing come speedily to Pinchas ben Elka, Avram ben Rezo, Leah ben Tova, Sarah ben Malka, and Harriet Lewis, uh, Sarah Esther ben Gittel, David ben Eve, uh, Rosalie Hirschberg, Freda Schiffer ben Fesha, Pearl Yetta ben Mini, Moshe ben Hashatibel, Ralda Rish, Miriam Yiska bat Esther, Eliyahu ben Idel, Elimelech ben Miriam, Hava bat Sylvia, Susan Lubell, Linda Schaefer, Bernard Wolf, Henya Leah bat Sarah Rivka, Shisha Zelda bat Bela, Devora Leah bat Miriam, Yehudit bat Sarah, Cyril bat Bella, Chaim ben um, Sarah, um, Yasif Hirsch ben Golda, Lindy, Linda Josie, uh, David Gritz, Beth Bernstein uh, Ingo, uh, Inging, uh, Rivka Bracha Bluma, David Zalman Ben Golda, Levi Chaim Ben Rivka Searle, Shimon Ben Tova, Lauren Rabinowitz, Arch, uh, Tom Archibald, Yonatan Bat Yeto, Ben Yeto, Judy Brickman, Rana Klein, David Lewis, and Yudis Leah Bat Basha Reba, and others in our community in need of healing. Dr. D. Amen. When pain and fatigue are our companions, let there be room in our heart for strength. When days and night are filled with darkness, let the light of courage find its place. Help us to endure the suffering and dissolve the fear. Renew within us the calm spirit and trust and peace. Baruch Ata Adonai, Rafael Cholim. Praise to you, eternal God, the source of healing and health. Amen. Amen. Bless those in need of healing with Rifu Ashilema. 
the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. Now it's our honor to invite up our president, Gary Olympic, to offer a few words of greetings and announcements. Good morning, good morning, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome here, if you're here live. And for those that are joining us by way of Zoom or YouTube, we welcome you as well. Uh, and for those that are on Zoom, we have a full house today. Um, and I'm pretty sure I saw scalpers out there in the parking lot. <laughs> At, and I'll tell you, what a creative way to fund our endowment. <laughs> um, did want to extend a big mazel tov uh, to Gerald, Sarah, Ross, and the entire Kogan Cohen family. Uh, Gerald, we're so proud of you. You bring nachas and pride to your family and great joy to your parents, so thank you. Um, Yasha Koch to, to Gerald and to Foreman as well for leading us in Beziki de Zimran Shacharit. And Gerald, uh, once again, Yasha Koch to you for your beautiful Torah and Hav Torah reading and also your Devar Torah. I did want to thank all the people that participated in the service this morning. Mark and Tova Cohen, thank you. Michael and Lori Kogan, Marty and Judy Kogan. Rich Pickett, uh, Dina Stomberg, Mike and Lizzie Kaplan, Jeff and Naomi Stomberg, Marion Kogan, Ross and Sarah Kogan, uh, Niffy and Bart Cohen, Yael and Neil Cohen, uh, Debbie Gladan, uh, Eve and Leah May Kogan, Yoni and M M Mayor Sasson, uh, Michael Gutman, Marilyn and Elliot Gutman, Lisa Gutman, and Michael Eichenwald, Robin Edwards, Dave Edwards, Lauren Estrin, and Andy Deutsch. Thank you all for participating in the service and making this a very special service this morning. Did want to uh, extend a big thank you to our Gabi extraordinaire, Barry Brusen, and our ushers and greeters, Chuck Bilevsky, and I also saw Mark Fleischman as well. Thank you so much, Mark, and Nikki Novotny. Uh, thank you to Neil Yarm, uh, who's up in New York controlling our, our Zoom today. Thank you, Neil. Uh, thanks so much to our Torah study facilitator, Marty Cohen, and thank you to Damone Fanuni, um, who's been really going the extra mile today. He had to use uh, our, our bring in all the ADV, AV equipment um, from our, our typical prayer space and set that up here today. So thank you for that uh, seamless AV um, delivery. Um, do you have a few quick announcements? And I know we have a lot of visitors, so I just want to underscore that really the announcements I'm about to highlight, that's the tip of the iceberg here at AA. I'm very fond of saying that we have something to offer everyone. So I just want to highlight a few things coming up. We have an exciting weekend coming up in two weeks. It's the Sonia Project weekend. That'll be Friday, February 3rd to Saturday, February 4th. Delve deeper into the spiritual practice of communal singing at our second Sonia Project weekend, an artist in residence and rabbi in residence with our very own Rabbi Sam Bluston. We'll lift up our voices at a musical candlelit Shabbat service in the round, followed by a dinner, gather for a joyous Rebbe's Tish with B'nai Mitzvah families on Saturday afternoon, and end Shabbat with a magical Havdalah for adults that you won't want to miss. Registration is required um, for the Friday night dinner, so please go to our website and register. In honor of Holocaust Remem Remembrance Day, please join us tomorrow afternoon for a lovely concert featuring the Peachtree String Quartet pre pre presented by Marilyn Ginsburg Eckstein Cultural Arts Program. That'll begin tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Uh, the Peachtree String Quartet will also perform this program on Friday, January 27th at the Austrian Embassy in Washington, DC. This event is free and open to the public. There is a reception following. And please feel free, um, once again, there's no charge, um, but if you would like to make a contribution to the Maryland Ginsburg Extra Cultural Arts Program, we would be more than grateful. We do have a blood drive coming up. That's Sunday, February 5th, before in the midst of donating blood at our synagogue. We do this on a quarterly basis. Everyday blood donors help patients of all ages, accident and burn victims. So please register. You can do so on our website. Um, and if you're visit visiting and you want to come, uh, if you're local, you want to come to our blood drive, Go to the website, uh, redcrossblood.org. At the top right, there's a search box. Just type in JWV, Jewish War Veterans, and you can register. Also, the same day, Sunday, February 5th, we have a Tubi Shvat tree planting. Join the community in planting 73 trees in Wade Walker Park. That's in Stone Mountain to help us sustain our urban forest and celebrate Tubi Shvat. Once again, that's Sunday, February 5th, beginning at 1 o'clock. Um, this evening, Minkam Marif and Havdalah services will begin at 545. That will be virtual. And by the way, for all that's visiting uh, today, everybody that's visiting here and not familiar with the synagogue, we have minions in the morning and evening virtually, so please feel free to join us. Uh, we don't require a password. We have a lovely minion family virtually, and we would love for you to attend. Sending you all love and Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.
we're going to move into our final service uh, of our service, which is uh, the Musaf service, page 155 for Hatzi Kaddish, and then 156b. We'll start together and then move into silent devotional prayer, where you'll be able to pray the words of the book or from your own heart. 156b. 156. Yitkarabi kada shimei rabab Yamadi rakirute Yamit ma al kute The kaye kono yome kono kaye de kobe Yisrael Pagalavis man kari ibim ru amen Yeshme rabba mevorak The yolam yome amaya Yiparak vishtaba akhi parvi tuman the yitna se Dita dar vita levita lao shemei de kutsha brechum Leila min kobir chata ve shirata Tush bechata v'nagamata Damiran be'olma Vimru amen Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu v'elohei avuteinu Eloheinu Abraham Eloheinu Yitzchak Eloheinu Yaakov Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ahel Hagadol, Hagibor, Behanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Begone Hakol, Bezocher Chastei Avot, Mevi Goel, Ibn Ebenehem, Leman Shemo, Behava, Melech Hosea, Fokir, Moshia, Umagim. Baruch Ata Adonai, Magin Abraham, for Kate Sarah, Atagi Borel Hamadonai, Mikhae Miti Matara, Loshia, Mashi Varuach, Marina Gashem, Mikhaquel Kayim Bechesed, Mikhae Miti Merachamim Rabim, So make no flim, bit of a holy. Umatir asurim, umekahaye emunato, li shene afar, mi ha mocha pao kevurot, umida melach, melech me mi itu mekahaye, umat mi ak yeshua. Beneman atalaha yo metim, Arochata donai, Mikaye a metim. Nari it's ha, Venaki is ha, Kisotziak sarfe kodesh, Nari it's ha, Venaki is ha. Kisod siyak sarfe kodesh Amati shim shimcha bakodesh Shimcha bakodesh Amati shim shimcha bakodesh Shimcha bakodesh Kakaratuv, kakaratuv Ayad neviyecha Kakaratuv, kakaratuv, ayad neviyecha. Bekarazeh, bekarazeh, bekarazeh ozeh. Bekarazeh, bekarazeh, zeh ozeh v'yamar. Kadosh, 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 Adonai tzivahot. Melo kol haaretz kevodo, kevodo mahale mahale olam aye mekom kevodo, kevodo mahale mahale olam aye mekom kevodo, kevodo mahale mahale olam. Meshar tav shawalim shawalim zelaze aye mekom yevodo. Meshar tav shawalim shawalim zelaze aye mekom yevodo. Liumatam baruch yomeru baruch yevod Adonai mim komo.
Mim kahomo, hui pen berachamim, beyakonam, hameyakadim shemo, erevavoker, becholayom tamid. Hamayim b'yahava Shema Omrim Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Hu Eloheinu Hu Avinu Hu Malkeinu Hu Moshienu Hu Eloheinu, Hu Avinu, Hu Malekeinu, Hu Moshienu, Hu Yashmienu, Rachamav Shenit, Le'enei Kol Chai, Hu Yashmienu, Rachamav Shenit, Le'enei Kol Chai, Le'ot Lachem Le'elohim, Ani Adonai Eloheichem, Uvri vrei kochecha katuv lemor lo charanai leolam elo hayetzion le dor ba dor hallelujah le dor ba dor le dor ba dor le dor ba dor nagid God alecha le dor ba dor le dor ba dor le dor ba dor nagid God alecha. Ole Nitzach Nitzachim, Ole Nitzach Nitzachim, Kedushat Chanak Dish, Veshiv Chachal Eloheinu, Mihipinu Lo Yamush, Leolam, Leolam, Ba'et, Ledor Vador, Ledor Vador, Ledor Vador, Nagid, God Alecha, Ledor Vador, Ledor Vador, Ledor Vador, Nagid, God alecha, ki yom alecha adol, gadol vekadosh, gadol vekadosh, atta, yalalai, 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 baruch atadonai, ha'el hakadosh. Dikanta shabarit, dikanta shabarit, dikanta shabarit, dikanta shabarit. Oseh shalom bimromav, uyaseh shalom, aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'al kol Yoshvei Tevel, uyaseh uyaseh shalom, aleinu v'imru. Amen. O se shalom bimromav, uya se shalom. 
Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael Ve'al kol yosh ve'tevel Hu'i yasev, hu'i yasev shalom Aleinu ve'imru Amen. Kadish Shalem 181. Yekirabi <laughs> Please be seated. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. No, no, I'm not telling you to say Shabbat Shalom. I'm pointing at you. No, stay seated. You're fine. Amazing, Gerald. A really incredible, beautiful job. But I have more to ask. More questions to ask. Rabbi Kogan. Do you like to go by Rabbi Kogan or Rabbi Gerald? How about the Koganator Rebbe. Can we do that one? No? Rab okay, so Rabbi, this is a hard one. What if we were to roll the scroll that you just read from all the way to the end, all the way to the end, what would the last word of the entire Torah be? Man, this guy is amazing. Yes, Israel. And what letter, what letter does the word Israel end with? Lamed, man. Dr. D, Mr. Medwin, you getting this? This guy gets valedictorian next year, okay? Lamed, the Torah, the entire Torah ends with the letter Lamed. What's the first word? If we were to roll it all the way to the beginning, that was a hint. What is the first word? Beray sheet. Good. And what letter, Rabbi, does beray sheet start with? Begin with. Bet. Lamed and bet. You put those words together and you get lev. Heart. Now, is it a coincidence? I don't know. It is beautiful, after all, thinking that the entire Torah scroll ends with Yisrael. We are the children of Israel. We have the state of Israel. Isn't it just amazing? Maybe not, but it seems to me that the scroll ends with the word Israel. And it begins in the beginning with the letter Bet. Together it spells heart, which you have clearly shown today. You have clearly shared with us. And Rabbi... The heart is one of those interesting organs that gets more attention than it might actually deserve. It's in all poetry. It's in all numbers of songs, isn't it? If I left my heart in San Francisco, I did not have an organ transplant. It means that I have my love there. If I give you my heart, Rabbi, I am expressing love if I have a broken heart. It is deep sadness that I am expressing. A heavy heart is concern. Parts that the heart actually do, as if my blood is boiling, expresses anger. By the way, if your blood is actually boiling, you should go see a doctor. <laughs> An elated or elevated heart is joy. And once again, an elevated heart rate, doctor. Or deep breathing. Very good. The heart is that amazing part of our body. A simple pump. It's all it does. 
but yet we are in love and entranced by it. We sing songs about it. We speak of it all the time. Our emojis are surrounded by them. We text with it, right? It is absolutely amazing. And so it should have given us pause when we read it today that God promised to bring signs and wonders to the people of Israel by bringing the plagues upon Egypt. And in doing that, Pharaoh will have a Yehazek lev, a hard heart. He will have a kebed lev, a heavy heart. Not in the way that we understand a heavy heart, but in the way the Torah understands a black heart, a cold heart. So we should pay attention because it says it over and over again in this Parsha. It says it over and over again that Pharaoh's heart is hardened throughout. Now, it never goes unnoticed that it vacillates, the text, between saying that Pharaoh hardened his heart and God hardened his heart. We often, when learning that, we immediately engage in the question of theology and theodicy. It is where we love to go as a people. How could, how dare, heaven for fain, Pharaoh, God, take away Pharaoh's agency like that by making his heart heavy, giving him no choice but to continue to oppress the people? I would tell you, my friends, although I hear the critique Our people, the Jewish people, as the poem I read earlier from Margie Percy states, the Jewish people did not carry that scroll on our back through mud and dust and born it, swaddled it like a baby for us to sit here and read it and read within it critiques of the Almighty. That is not why we have carried this text. That is not why we've kept our identity. To find a way in which we could have resentment and criticize God. So my friends, there must be a different meaning, a deeper meaning to why we are told that Pharaoh's heart is hardened, whether by his self and his own agency or the agency of God. And I think, Rabbi Kogan, that your bar mitzvah in this moment in time gives us our answer. Because it should not be ignored that your bar mitzvah week is shared with the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. Your life and your becoming a bar mitzvah is tied to him forever because of this weekend, because of this week in which it fell. And is it a coincidence that the story that we read every year, by the way, around Dr. King's day is about the freeing of slavery from Egypt? Is that a coincidence? It definitely was not on the mind of the politicians and the civic leaders who chose this date. I'm pretty sure they didn't know what Parsha it was this week. But it happened nonetheless. And my friends, there's an amazing interview to be listened to. And a book by Brandon Terry, which he reviews and unpacks and explores the sermons and writings of Dr. King like had never been done before. Professor Terry is a professor of sociology at Harvard University. Rabbi Kogan, have you heard of Harvard? They do pretty well. They ain't no Georgia, University of Georgia or Georgia Tech, but Harvard does okay. (laughs) And in his book, 
he begins to talk about that Dr. King, although known for social advocacy, social ad, um, activism, nonviolence, that is not giving him his due. That in fact, Dr. King was a theologian and a philosopher, not just of the human condition, but of the human journey. And that's what we are studying with our Parsha. We're not studying Proverbs about how to live a good life. We are studying the journey of our people. And Dr. King shares, as understood by Professor Terry, that in fact, our journey is as important, if not more important, than the goal we reach for. He gives a great example that I'd like to modify to the wonderful gifts that you are giving away, the, the, bar, the bar Mitzvah project that you talked about, Gerald. The giving of these incredible gifts, sporting equipment, to make those kids' lives just a little bit better, as you said, to unburden the shoulders of those parents who were working so hard to give security and safety to their children. We get to step in, and with these incredible gifts, we get to make their lives just a little bit better, if only for an afternoon, if only for just a couple minutes on a street to play a game with each other. And the example that Dr. Terry gives, and I modify for this, is that if I wanted that basketball right there, Gerald, what are the ways in which I could get that basketball? Well, I could maybe buy it from you and your family. Maybe you'll gift it to me. Maybe I'll just steal it. And you wouldn't be the wiser, would you? And in fact, any of those ways, the goal is accomplished. But yet, what is my relationship to that ball, Gerald? If I do it in any of those ways, my relationship changes, yes. I am different. My relationship to the goal is changed because of the journey that I decided to go on. And that, of course, is the story of Pharaoh. It's not a critique of God and God taking away free will. It is a critique of us. It is that we put our goals forward and we do not care. The means for many justify the ends. And our Torah says no. Our Torah says no. The journey we are on makes us into the human beings we will become and we will land when we get to our goal. Now, Gerald, you know this. You knew this when you wrote your Devar Torah. You knew this when you set out to make people's lives better. And this is the lesson that Pharaoh shows for us. This is the lesson that God gives to us on this sacred day. That we have what to do in life. We have what to do in this world. But the way we get there, the people we bring with us, make all the difference if we're going to get there in holiness, in kindness, and with love. Shabbat Shalom and Mazel Tov to you. We're going to end our service as we make our way to Ein Kalohinu, page 182, excuse me, 182. Ein Kalohinu, Ein Kadonenu, Ein Kimakinu, Ein Kimoshienu, Mi Kalohinu, Mi Kadonenu, Mi Kimakinu, Mi Kimoshienu. No dele lo heinu, no de la donenu, no de le malkinu, no de la moshienu, baruch elohenu, baruch adonenu, baruch malkinu, baruch moshienu. Atahu elohenu, atahu adonenu, atahu malkinu, Atahu Moshienu, Atahu Shekiru, Avotenu, Lefanecha, Egator and Hasamim. Please rise as Gerald leads us in Alenu, page 183. Alenu Leshaber, 
כתוב את תורתך, אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד, ונאמר, והיה אדוני, ומלך על כל הארץ, ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, יהיה אדוני אחד, ושמו, ושמו, ושמו. Shema Echad Please be seated. It's with great sadness this past week that our community lost Paul Klein. We wish his family all the support that they need to, to continue to keep his memory alive in their hearts and in their minds. We also note the continuing Shloshim period for Aubrey Lee Garber Wazilewski, wife of Jed, mother of Isla, daughter of Marianne and Steve Garber. Um, Phyllis Podber, mother to Arnold and Barbara, Morris and Ann, and to Jacob and Harold Verono, father to Robin Torch, Chuck and Marsha Verono, Don and Becky Verono. And Slava Altshuler Slevin, mother to Jillian and David Cantor. We also continue to note to the uh, yurt sites for today, the 28th of Tevet, for Mary Goldstein, Philip to, mother to Philip, um, to Paula, to Susan, and to Jacob. Betty Steinwell Intro, uh, mother to Jenny Moret. Laz Lazarus Levine, grandfather to Barry Prusen. Sylvia Mainzer, uh, mother to Hugh and Jill Mainzer. Michael Weinberg, uh, husband to Adele. We also continue to walk with those who come every morning and evening to our daily prayer service, remembering Laura Chavinsky, Sandra Adair, Marvin Silverman, Jacob Dalaboff, Jerry Kotler, Harriet Hank Oxman, Leslie Parker, David Carl Yarm, Babby Lax, Rita Tuvlin, David Siegel, Marshallin Moatar, Adrian Cohen, Al Filsuf, Kelly Enny, Saul Schenberg, Lowell Nuremberg, Al and Gloria Bahar, Samuel Kaplan, Janice Gordon Sassine, Leon Stambler, Cookie Frank, Elliot Levitis, Richard Ander, Melvin Grossman, Carol Deutsch, Harold Vrono, Sharon Hamburger. If I've omitted any names, please forgive me, but know that we continue to walk with you as you remember your loved ones as we rise in our spaces or enable our voices on Zoom so that we could share in the call and response of the Mourner's Cottage 184. 
Yet Gadal, Viet Gadal, Shemirabha, Shemirabha, Divra, Kirite, Viam Leaf Malkite, the high phone of your male, the high phone of your male, the whole baby, 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 the Please be seated in, I promise everybody, it's just a minute before we're going to go to lunch. We have uh, one or two more prayers to say. We will be inviting the family up. Uh, uh, about 30 minutes after our service ends and you had some time to have lunch, if you'd like to join us in the Almond Chapel, we will be having our Hodesh Tov chant service. Very uh, interesting musical experience, very meaningful. I hope you'll join us in there. If that would be something that would be meaningful, that would be in the Almond Chapel, right around 30 minutes after uh, we conclude our service in just a moment. I am inviting up the entire Kogan Kogan Zoo which is, that's what it says here, to, uh, to come up and lead us in Adon Olam, page 187. A carefully chosen tune, we might add. Adon Olam, I share my love, with Terem Kol, Yitzir Nivra, Thank you. 
Adonai Li, Adonai Li, Adonai Li, Please rise. Amen. 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 Our God and God of our ancestors to continue to bless this young man to use his voice, his spirit, and his soul to lead us to a better day. Amen. I'd ask that as the very back row to start putting your chairs back around the tables where we took them from because we had so many people, let's make sure we get everybody to lunch at a table. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Bachelor, you guys want to eat it? Does anybody want to eat this? Bachelor, I want to eat it. Bachelor.